For her payday, someone must drive to pick up over 50 tons of premium logs from deep in Kinleaf Forest and return 36 kilometers to the Tokoroa export yard. The weight you have on your truck and the axles that carry it, you don't drive the truck to, like, what you want to drive it to, you drive the truck to the load. And to deliver the premium pine, Summer needs a reliable workhorse. I drive a Kenworth 2016 model K200. This is us. Onto the gravel we go. Tatua Hill is a one-way dirt road, heading up to logging crew 11. Oh, mind the potholes. Fully loaded trucks coming downhill have the right of way. You need to call up when you're going up. Getting up tight to a hill for Pukaihua. Gee, I don't know, we might be in a black spot. With no radio reception, Summer's driving blind. Very noisy up here. They could be calling us, we could be calling them. And she has no idea if a truck is coming down the hill. I don't know how we're going to do this. With export pine waiting at the top for her, it's critical. She cracks on. Murder trip. Heading down tight to the Holy! <laughs> One of the main things that you have to worry about is watching where they put the logs to ensure the truck doesn't tip. You have to be very health and safety conscious. And that her chains will secure every log to the truck. You want the chain when you throw it to touch every log, which is what a crown is. The log could slip through the chains if we don't have every single log crown. Paid by weight, she's aiming for her maximum gross of 73 tonnes. We'll probably go one more ton. An export quality pine is worth $150 per ton. Cop on it, I'll just jump out and check it in. Before she chains up, Summer inspects the load herself. The system that goes in the bushes, once the truck driver has left the skid, it's the truck driver's responsibility. And it's on her if there's an accident. Daddy! So, Summer won't let anything slide. It's sticking out the side and we don't want that. If she leaves Crew 11 with a faulty load... We just got him to take it off. It could spell disaster for her payday. Otherwise, we might lose it all. Summer's 70-tonne load of premium logs haven't been loaded properly. It's sticking out the side and we don't want that. Yeah. Side. Take it off. Yeah. In the bush, the tracker calls the shots. And even though her load's paid by the ton, Summer's not afraid to speak up. Well, they're looking all right, but he's just going to take one off. Too much there, mate. Thank you, babe. The logs must be chained to the truck. And it's a chance for Summer to bust the trucking myth. That woman can't throw a chain. Let's chain them up. When I first started, someone actually tried to tell me, you'll never be able to chuck a chain. Everybody who was training me told me, it's like, throwing chains is hard physically. It's about technique. You know, we can do anything, woman. If people try to put you down, you show them how it is. Our weight at the moment is 73 tonne, so. We'll be taking it easy down that hill. And that's because Summer's about to head down a narrow Tatua hill with a trailer's maximum load on her back. This is where you shit your pants. And score her payday. What my scales are reading is about 74 ton, and we're going down like a 20% gradient hill. 
The only thing between her and disaster is her experience and skill. I think the trick here is to kind of not use the brakes too much, do what you can to let it roll. Because you don't want to obviously run out of air for your brakes. So just constantly checking the gauges, using the engine fan as a retarder, and just praying for the best. A log chain is loosened on the one-way gravel road, making the timber unstable. It's definitely got a life of its own. There's no pullover area until the bottom of the hill. Mind of its own, I think, yeah. So, everything rides on her controlling her speed. I do it as safe as possible, but with this kind of weight, it is scary. The dirt road has loosened a chain on Summer's 73-ton load. With this kind of weight, it is scary. Leaving the logs unsecured and in danger of falling. Any bump you hit, it like goes like that. It's crazy. With three years' experience in the bush, Summer knows she just needs a plan. We'll get to Poplar and then there's that seal. And a place to pull over. So what we'll do is we'll just check our chains. So that one's loose, so we'll tighten that up. The weather and the terrain is probably our biggest danger because that we can't control. That one's also loose. But what you can control is to be safe on the road. It's Summer's skill and attention to safety that led her to winning Young Driver of the Year. She was nominated by her manager. My boss, Matt, he was like, oh, they've got a dinner and free piss. I was like, mate, I'm in. I'm in. Count me in. <laughs> got my hair done, wore a dress, which is pretty funny, because I hardly wear the dresses. And I swear you not, I felt like I was the only brown person in the room. I was like, I'm just gonna go toilet, get a few like drinks in me. And I get a phone call from my boss, he's like, where are you? No I got there, they were like, Young Drive of the Year award goes to, and it was me, and I was like, whoa, what the heck? <laughs> I was honestly gobsmacked, like I was shocked. In my head, I just, with my job. <laughs>